They, they met the extravaganza. Minus the game. Nitimes.com. Subscribe. Digital slash home delivery. Log in. Register now. Help. Home page. Today's paper. Video. Most popular. Edition. U.S. Slash global. Search all nitimes.com. College football. World. U.S. NY. Slash region. Business. Technology. Science. Health. Sports baseball NFL. College football NBA. College basketball hockey soccer golf tennis global sports by tickets. Opinion. Parts. Style. Travel. Jobs. Rate real estate. Autos. They, they met the extravaganza. Minus the game. Michael Stravato for the New York Times. College football live broadcasting Thursday from a drill field at Texas A&M, the site of college game many e on Saturday. By Richard S. A. and O. M. I. R. Published, September 12, 2013. The ESPN Traveling Circus known as College Gate Many E set up camp this week in College Station, Tex, where top-ranked Alabama will play number 6 Texas A&M on Saturday. The ESPN's trucks, stages, video walls and sponsor tents, as well as the Home Depot bus, have taken up nearly one-third of the drill field where the Aggies Corps of Cadets holds formal reviews. And starting with reports Thursday afternoon and running through its three-hour show Saturday morning, Gate Many E and other ESPN shows will spend hours analyzing the matchup. Enlarge this image. But the showdown between the Crimson Tide and the Aggies, the Rashine Hall behind hauling Gate Many E to campus, is not on ESPN's television schedule. CBS, which gets first choice for the top Southeastern Conference game each week, will televise Alabama vs. Texas A&M. I'm looking for the best story of the day, my fitting. The coordinating producer for ESPN's college studio shows, said by telephone. This week was a no-brainer. We've been to plenty of non-ESPN and non-ABC games in my tenure. Sitting said that if not for Alabama, the defending national champion, facing Texas A&M, the only team to beat the Crimson Tide last year, Gate Many E would probably have traveled to the U.C.L.A.Nebraska game in Lincoln, which ABC is carrying at noon. I wish it were being played next week, Sitting said. Next week is looking room. The ESPN will still dominate the college football day. 33 games will be shown on ESPN networks and on ABC, in part because of the scene-setting dominance of its roving studio show. Wherever gay many E goes, it is a major campus event, drawing thousands of partisan fans but also a major logistical operation. Top universities receive a letter each August from Fitting that outlines what Gate Many E will take to their campus and what it will need. As the show's popularity and on-site attendance continue to grow, Fitting wrote, in part, we wanted to formally document our expectations in order to make the Gate Many E visit the best possible experience for your fans, our sponsors, the show's production personnel and your school's football program. Some colleges are veteran hosts. Some have never done it and might get about barely a week's warning that Gate Many E wants to visit. For all, the national exposure to about 2 million viewers on Saturdays, augmented by reports from the set on Friday, is irresistible. Because of the interest in the Alabama-Texas A&M game, those reports began Thursday from College Station. It's one of the things you can't say no to, said Van Hilder Brand, an associate athletic director at Clemson, the Gate Many E host on August 31st. The first Saturday of the season. In 2006, Clemson received the standard five-day notice that ESPN wanted to take Gate Many E to its campus. But this year, it was told of its selection on August 1st. Both times, the show emanated from the university's front lawn. The week afterward, we didn't want to see them again, Hilder Brand said with a laugh. The only problem he had with ESPN was Lee Corso, one of the Gate Many E analysts picking Georgia to beat Clemson that day. Clemson won, 38-35. It made us mad at first, but he was 0-7 with Georgia, so it was a good omen, he said. The SPN, however, says he is only 0-4. Texas A&M is hosting Gay Many E for the second year in a row, so Mike Caruso, the associate athletic director for events and game operations, understands what ESPN is looking for. Simpson Drill Field worked out well last year, and it was chosen again. They had a lot of room for 